So as we just said, uh, when we were in the bathroom, that uh, as well as the cold water coming from the cold water tank in the loft, directly to the cold water taps in the bathroom, it also comes down a slightly bigger pipe from that cold water tank and feeds um, the immersion cylinder or the hot water tank. Um, now, again, as you can see, that's clearly labeled. And on this particular label, it's not labeled cold water to hot water tank, it's labeled to shut hot water off. Now the reason it's labelled like that is because in, in a lot of properties it's very, very unclear. People know how to turn the cold off by simply turning the rising main off. Um, but turning the hot off is a different story because if you do it by the rising main, of course the tank is full of water still and it takes forever before the hot water is turned off. So if we isolate the tank from the cold water supply, um, it's much more easily easy to work on the, the hot water. So this is the gate valve. Um, from the cold water supply to the hot water tank or immersion heater or in this case and immersion heater there's not always an immersion involved but this is the hot water tank um, and the gate the gate valve there simply shuts off the cold water supply now the cold always goes into the bottom of a cylinder always into the bottom as it's then heated within the tank, in this case either by the boiler or the immersion, which we will talk about later on, as it's heated, the hot water rises through the tank, hot but water being um, always rising to the top, and it then comes out of the tank via the pipe at the top. So when you're working with a hot water cylinder, the hot water always comes out of the top. In this particular case, this cylinder is an indirect cylinder. So the hot water um, feeds a coil within this system, which indirectly feeds, uh, heats the hot water within it. Um, and we'll explain how that works when we move on to, to the hot water system in full and the central heating system. But for now, what we need to know is that the cold water comes down from the tank goes into the bottom of the cylinder. There is also the opportunity here by means of another drain cock um, to drain this pipe and subsequently the tank down. Um, if we need to do any work, replace anything, replace the immersion or whatever, we can drain that cylinder down simply by shutting the water off through the valve that we talked about earlier on. Um, and then opening this check for opening the check valve and draining the water down. Pretty much the same as you saw within the, the, the drain cock uh, next to the rising main downstairs. So that's how that's the um, that's the completion of our cold water circuit. Some of it feeds the um, the mains pressure taps downstairs, and in this instance the, the mains the rising main goes straight up into the tank in the loft, fills the tank up, the water comes from the tank down through um, various pipes into the taps in the bathroom and any ensuite um, taps that there are to the toilet system as well and at the same time feeds the hot water cylinder um, to allow the water to be heated up um, and, and in turn to feed the hot taps. So that's how the cold domestic system works.